Red Wings, Aces of the Sky review. Is this what I expected? Well, let's find out. Hello and welcome to the Curricula Coolest. I'm the Monk and today we are doing a review on Red Wings Aces of the Sky. Red Wings Aces of the Sky is an arcade action game that will put you behind the controls of World War I planes. Witness the birth, rise and fall of the talented Red Baron. Become part of his squadron or lead the hunt to take him down. This game is both developed and published by All In Games. They actually sent me the uh, key for this uh, game, so a big thank you to you guys for that to get a chance to actually play this game. This game is currently on the PC, the PlayStation, Xbox, and the Switch, so it's on pretty much anything that you want to play a game on. And if you want to get your hands on this game, it will set you back a little $17.99. Now this is a smaller game, this isn't a big AAA rated game, and so it gets judged on what it actually is. This is an arcade flying game. There are very, uh, there are quite a few different familiar aspects of what I could have expected to actually get in this game. What I wasn't expecting was to actually choose which side of the story that I wanted to play on. So you can kind of, you know, pick up one side of the story. Actually, the interesting part is you can pick up one side of the story. You can uh, go through it quite a bit like I did. And then you can swap story, go on the other side and uh, play that version as well. The best thing is this game, you can upgrade your plane, but in order to upgrade your plane, you need these uh, special stars that you get for actually completing a mission. Um, these stars stack, so let's say for instance, you play as the Red Baron or on his, on his squadron, uh, you start playing the game that way, you get a load of you know missions completed, then you can switch over to the allies and of course all those stars that you've collected you can then use to upgrade your plane in that story. I actually found this pretty good. Uh, the other thing I found is that you can um, reset your points so as you buy something in a skill tree you can reset all of the points that you spent and restack them where you want. Also the uh, skill points that you have it doubles for whatever plane you're in. So like I said, you can play in World War I planes or as World War I planes taking on uh, either the Germans or the Allies. And um, as you progress through the story, you level up, say you level up the, the, the German plane. Uh, those upgrades actually carry over to your Allied plane as well. I think that's a nice touch. It means that there isn't too much regrinded. That there is a little bit of grinding in this game. It seems to be a massively common thing for games today to actually get their games to be grindable. In other words, you have to play them, you have to replay them. It's not necessarily about extra gameplay. It is about getting you to do the exactly same gameplay over and over again so that way you can actually progress through the game. Now, I'm not a big fan of this, but at the moment, I don't see the point in downgrading the game because of it. It is so common practice these days that it would be interesting to actually find a game that doesn't do it. It seems that um, making games grindable is a big thing, but it isn't necessarily a big gripe at this game. I'm just saying in general, kind of went on a bit of a tangent there. But um, yeah, it is it is in this game, but at least they could have made it a lot longer if they actually... Um, if your perk points didn't carry over to the other side. So I'm glad that they do actually do that. So there are a lot of missions in this game. I think there's around 20 missions on each side of the battle. Um, and in these missions, they're all pretty much aerial missions. They're all pretty similar, you know, destroy the balloons or, you know, race around in these hoops because you're out of fuel. Um, every now and again, you will get one where you are a bomber and you have to blow up bridges and things like that. I think that was a nice touch. It was a, a welcomed change. Um, if you get a certain score in certain levels, you can actually upgrade or um, unlock special vehicles and stuff like that too, which I also quite liked. This is an arcade game, which I've already said, so because it's an arcade game, you actually get certain special perks, for instance. Uh, there's a couple of special maneuvers that you can do. You can also have one where you actually call a squadron of... Um, of planes to attack a target 
I kind of felt this one was kind of useless because I could do more damage to a plane faster than my squadron could come in and do the damage. Which is a bit of a shame really, but there is that one. You've also got then your special killing move where you will lock on to a target, you will whip out your pistol, and with the pistol you can take the uh, you know, take the um the enemy down in a special uh, cutscene way. I quite like it. I don't think that obviously again my pistol shouldn't be doing more damage than my plane, but I liked and appreciated that mechanic in this game. But ultimately, this is actually a really, really fun game. Uh, I think it is a casual game. It's something that um, adults can play. And it's definitely something that I think kids can enjoy. The controls are really simple, really easy to kind of like pick up and completely understand exactly what you're doing. And um, there isn't really too much um, learning curve wise. You know, the one thing that got me originally was that I couldn't figure out how to use my special kill attack. You know, the one where you lock on, what I was just saying, it opens up a little cutscene. You do it in a tutorial, and then maybe I just didn't concentrate enough, but it took me a while to figure out how to actually repeat that and actually get it working. Um, eventually You're I did, angry. and once I did, Both you know, you I love the mechanic and the button itself. Like I do think that this game well, is definitely tricksy. It each is, uh, the, it, each level can Truth be told, hard if you haven't spent your points get, right, haven't upgraded your plane. Uh, maybe you're coming train, into that level, you know, you're just progressing now through your storyline, but the game kind of wants you to regrind and kind of get your get your plane a little bit stronger. Also, you can quickly get overwhelmed by enemies. You're talking like 20 planes following you around. That can be a bit of a pain. Uh, but I do think it is very kid friendly, I think, especially with Christmas coming up. Uh, and it's only just come out, you know, very, very recently that this could be a game that uh, keeps people quiet for a while and entertains them for that much longer as well. But with all that being said, the score I'm going to give this game is quite a massive 6.5 out of 10. This is an indie smaller game. It's priced really well. It's definitely fun to play. It's easy to play. It looks pretty good. I got no crashes, no bugs, no bad things really to say about this game. Um, I enjoyed myself, so that's what it gets, a 6.5 out of 10. If you've enjoyed this review though, or this video, don't forget to hit that like button, and of course hit that subscribe button if you want to see more reviews just like this. And if you are picking up this game, or thinking about picking up this game, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below, and I will do my absolute very best to reply to each and every comment. One more thing, we are about to hold a special giveaway or competition on our Facebook page. So if you haven't liked that yet, don't forget to have a look. It's just the Critically Coolest. Anyone that's got Facebook can, of course, enter. Anyway, I've been a monk. We've been Critically Coolest. Catch you guys later.